Joy here with SubRosaTea.com. How are you today? Happy holidays. Friends, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of Sub Rosa Tea. We're a small company based in Northern Ohio. We will ship anywhere in the United States. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you all about both our new and our returning holiday flavors. We have our 12 Days of Christmas collection. All of those are returning. Everyone loved them so much. We do have three new teas to talk about and our holiday hot chocolate cocoa powder is returning as well. We've got fabulous holiday tea accessories, great gifts. You got to stay right here. Friends, I want to say welcome to everyone. If you are new, welcome to you and welcome back to everyone who has been here for a while. Thank you. Friends, if there's no red live above my head, that simply means you're watching it on the replay. Feel free to use the hashtag replay and shop as you normally would. This video is live on Facebook, Instagram, and on our mobile shopping app. We also replay these videos both on our YouTube channel and on our website. So you may not be watching it live and that's totally okay, but if you do have a question, I wanna make sure that you know to, to send us a private message on social media. We'll get them, of course, or you could send us an email and the email address is the word orders at subrosatea.com. You're welcome to send us an email. Hello to everyone. Okay, first up, we had a contest in our Facebook group group. I'm so sorry those of you on Instagram. I hope you're also on Facebook. We have a Facebook group called the Top Shelf Club. Of course, if you haven't been there, make sure you join. You're welcome. Everyone is welcome to join. We had a contest. We just got done with the Halloween season, so we had a contest. How many candy corns are in the Urban Tumblr? It was a post, not a video. It was a regular post. We had everyone guess up until 6 o'clock today, and today I said I was going to announce the winner live. So if you are watching Denise Fletcher Spaulding, you won your answer was actually 100% correct. You guessed 154 candy corns in the Urban Tumblr, and that was exactly right. I don't know how you did it, but our winner of that contest um, is going to win the Halloween candy try me size bundle, which is six candies, six candy inspired teas, all loose leaf tea. Um, by the way, those of you who did buy our Hocus Pocus collection, the teas are still available, not as a bundle or a combo pack, but the individual teas are available on our website and on our mobile shopping app if you care to restock those before they go away. Also retiring, going to just talk about old business. Congrats to the winner. I hope she's here. This is a live video. So Denise, if you're watching, I have no way to like contact you. You have to contact us. So make sure you send us a message, Denise, or of course an email. Totally fine. Um, Denise is new to us. I don't believe Denise has ever bought before, so I, I don't even have her email address. Anyway, um, I was going to say, so the Hocus Pocus Tea Collection, those are retiring. Fall Fest has retired. There's only a few of those left. Um, same with the malt shop. We introduced those, I think, at the end of September. So the malt shop um, inspired teas, those are all retiring too. But like I said, we have so many holiday flavors that I'm sure there is something for everyone. Whitney just said she loves Halloween tea and she wishes they were around all year. Thank you, sweet lady. I always appreciate hearing that. We've got so many good things to talk about. I definitely want to dive right in. I hope, let's see, I don't see even one person on Facebook or Instagram. <clears throat> I do hope it's connected. It says that it is. I'm going to keep going because you can always watch on the replay. I have a feeling more people watch the videos on the replay than watch live, and that is okay with me. Timing is everything, right? Okay, I'm going to jump in. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> what is... I know it's a mystery. Hi, Miss Linda. Hey, Amy. Thank you for that. That's so sweet. Oh, I see people on Facebook. Thanks for commenting. You know, it's funny. It's um one of those things. If you don't comment, I don't know that you're here. So it's okay if you're watching silently or quietly and not commenting. But once you comment, I can see your name. So thanks, you guys. Thank you for commenting. I so appreciate it. Okay, we're good. Okay, first up, we're going to talk about this great gift set. 
those of you shopping for gifts, this is my favorite. I love a tower of tea. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love a tower of gifts. The boxes do nestle, so if you're going to reuse them for something else, but this particular gift set does come with these three square boxes, and they're going to be filled with tea. They're going to be filled with your 12 days of Christmas tea. You will get this bow. I'm not going to tie it for you, though, because I think it's going to get squished in transit, but you will get this um, wired fabric bow with it, so you can, of course, tie it up if you choose to do so. You might also do shipping, your choice. It also comes with this mug. This is our, um, that's a featured tea accessory with the 12 Days of Christmas here. So this mug has a lid. It is ceramic, so it is microwavable. The steel infuser basket is removable, which makes the mug microwavable. All three pieces are dishwasher safe. It's a 12 ounce mug, which is absolutely perfect. And this comes with the 12 days of Christmas gift set. Working our way into change here. <clears throat> The gift set, if you don't need a gift box, you may prefer the combo pack. Here at Sub Rosa Tea, when we sell a themed item, a themed uh, quantity of tea, all the tea together we call a bundle. If we sell the tea together with a tea accessory, we call it a combo pack. This just happens to be a season in which we also sell the bundle, the combo pack, and a gift set. So gift set aside, the combo pack, friends, does come with the reindeer mug here. It is ceramic. It has an infuser basket and all 12 days of Christmas tea. You do have a choice of two sizes. We have both the try me size and the value size. The try me size makes five to six servings per flavor of loose leaf tea and the value size makes 20 to 25 flavors. We have three bundle options here, 12 days of Christmas, 12 flavors of tea. So we have six black tea and six caffeine free tea. Those of you, you know who you are. You love a good bundle. You save money when you bundle. You get all 12 flavors of our Christmas, but we also have just a black tea Christmas bundle and a caffeine free Christmas bundle. That's nice when you specifically know who you're giving it to, or if it's you, of course, you know what time of day you're going to be drinking the teas. I will talk about the teas individually, but I also wanted to get to the new item. Yes, 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 we have got a new item here. We've got three new teas. We are calling them the Christmas Cookies and Cocoa Collection because I love an alliteration. Oh my goodness. This combo pack, friends, comes with this fabulous mug. It is perfect. I'm thinking, you know, cookies for Santa. I am thinking hot cocoa for Santa. And of course, it has this fabulous Santa mug. So here it does have a Christmas tree and Santa, and it does say Sub Rosa Tea. And my favorite part in all the world, he sees you when you're steeping. Oh, you better believe it. He sees you when you're steeping, friends. In the Christmas Cookies and Cocoa Combo Pack, you will get the mug. The infuser basket is sold separately. I am bringing it here to make sure that you, again, remember that we do sell loose leaf tea, so you do need some sort of infuser. We have lots and lots of choices. The stainless steel does fit perfectly if you already have this from us from a different tea accessory. <clears throat> Let's see, I also have the brew basket. So the brew basket has lips to it and it is more narrow than the stainless steel, so either will fit just fine. Friends, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, but we do have lots of options here. So three new Christmas flavors and five different flavors of hot cocoa, and I'm gonna talk about them now. Okay. First up, we have our Thumbprints. Our thumbprints is first. Friends, all three of these teas in the Christmas and Cocoa collection are caffeine free. Perfect for really any time of day, but I was kind of imagining you sitting by the fire, wrapping those Christmas presents, really enjoying the holiday spirit in the evening. So these are all caffeine free. This is thumbprint cookies. Thumbprint cookies. Um, does everyone know what a thumbprint is? I tried to put an image on our social media to make sure everyone knows what they are. I've always made thumbprint cookies. 
They are a cookie that you do depress your thumb into the center of the dough when you bake it. And after it comes out of the oven, you fill the center with jam, almost like a donut in a way. Um, it's definitely a fabulous cookie. You could have them all year, but for me, it's very traditionally Christmas. So a thumbprint cookie definitely has berry jam. My favorite is a mixed berry, and that's exactly what this tea is. It is a mixed berry tea with a little bit of cream and or vanilla. Jean just said thumbprints are classic, and they are yummy. So I do hope that you'll enjoy this tea. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to say, all three of these particular teas in the Christmas cookies and cocoa collection go really well with the cocoa. I don't know if that's too crazy for you, but I'm when I am making tea or baking or making, you know, other cocktails, I always think about layering flavor. So instead of adding water when you make your hot cocoa, you could definitely add tea. So my favorite with the thumbprints is definitely the white chocolate, but that's just me. Moving on, the next brand new cookie flavor here are gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies. I think this is again classic and iconic. Everyone knows what they are. A fabulous gingerbread taste that you would roll out and use a cookie cutter. Of course, here they are fabulous cookies. I don't even own cookie cutters anymore. I'm so lazy. I just love the cookies. So a great gingerbread taste here. This, I would say, it is definitely caffeine free, but I would say the taste is like, um, almost a chai. Those of you who are traditional tea drinkers, you know what a chai tea tastes like with cinnamon and ginger and cardamom and cloves. Definitely a fabulous Christmas tea. Absolutely. Next up, friends, pecan tassies. Oh, I love pecan tassies, but I got to tell you, they really are a lot of work. With pecan tassi, you um, typically make the dough. You have to chill the dough. Of course, it has to set up. And then you are normally, when I make them, I make them into mini little cupcake size. So they're tiny and you have to make the filling. So there's a layer of nuts and a layer of filling on top. So many steps. Guess what, friends? You can make yourself a cup of tea in just a few minutes. So pecan tassi is definitely one of my Christmas cookies and now it can be one of your favorite teas. This is limited edition. It is a part of our Christmas cookies and hot cocoa collection. Oh, and caffeine free if I didn't say it. Next up, we have got our hot cocoa chocolate powder. Last year, I introduced this in November and some of you missed it completely. It sold out faster than I was expecting. So clearly I'm guessing my audience wants hot cocoa for me. So we have gourmet hot cocoa. We brought back all five of those flavors. Most of you know me. I am a girl who lives a sugar-free lifestyle. All of the teas that I'm creating are sugar-free, but friends, this is real hot cocoa. So yes, it does have sweetener in it. So real hot chocolate absolutely does. The fabulous news is you get to make it yourself, so you get to decide. So you get all five of our hot cocoa gourmet chocolate powder mixes in with the three teas in our Christmas and cocoa cookie collection, and of course, this wonderful mug. It is definitely a treat to be enjoyed. Next up, I wanted to make sure everyone knew that we still have programmable stainless steel kettles in inventory right now. I personally love this model. I'm very pleased with the quality of it. I've had this particular style for years now. I am a daily tea drinker. I use the kettle at least three times a day, sometimes eight times a day. I do use it for everything when I am making a quick soup, if I'm making oatmeal everything. Hot cocoa, of course, right? So it's programmable, which is also really nice. It's programmable. So you can, like the smallest amount that it's programmed to is 150, but you can change it to less. It does have 165, which is ideal for the green and the white tea, of course. 
and I like 195 for a lot of the black teas. I only steep my black teas for a really short period of time. I don't like them to get bitter. I'm kind of quick that way, but all of the rooibos and chamomile teas I want boiling. It's completely your choice, but I think electric is best. It goes twice as fast as my current microwave does. I love how fast it is. This does hold almost two liters of water, but when I'm just doing one cup or 16 ounces, boy, is it quick. This one in particular, friends, is just an all stainless steel model and you only put the water in. So after the water comes to temperature, then you are going to be steeping it separately. So the tea is here, you're steeping the tea in either a teapot or a mug or whatever your favorite tumbler is. So this one here is really a great gift. If you do have a wish list, you gotta put this on. There are other kettles on the market and a lot of them just go on and off. I am not impressed with them. Like I said, the durability of this one, the ease to use, I really do love it. So I just wanted to make sure y'all knew that we had them. If you are also thinking about gifts, this is also a fabulous item. This is one of our top sellers. We have had this particular model of stackable teapots in inventory for years and years. They do make 18 ounces, which is two cups. It does have a stainless steel infuser basket, and we have a lot of colors of these. I happen to love red. It goes great with the kitchen, of course. It's definitely holiday, but we do have a lot of choices. So do keep that in mind. Thank you for everyone for coming and watching today. Oh, I just love it. Oh, yes, Amy says, they all sound delicious, and I'm currently switching from coffee to tea. That reminds me, Amy, I'm really glad that you said that. Amy, we have two teas that you may want to choose. Um, a coffee, we have two teas that taste like coffee. One is completely caffeine free and it is new. We've only had it for a short period of time. It is called Cafe Olay. It does have both chicory and dandelion root in it. So it's got some really great properties. It's just perfect to curb that craving for coffee. We also have a tea called Cafe Latte. We've had that tea forever. It is a black tea. It does have coffee beans in it. So you'll get all the great taste of coffee all the antioxidants of tea, but none of the acid. Coffee has a lot of acid that can really upset your stomach. So whether you need less caffeine than coffee and no acid, or you need a caffeine-free substitute for coffee, we have two great options. If I went too fast, don't hesitate. You can find them on our website. I think if you just um, use the search bar and type in coffee, they should come up for you, no problem. Oh yes, I also wanted to make sure that you knew that any of our bundles, whether you're buying, you're creating your own bundle or you're buying one of our bundles, a bundle saves you money than buying them individually. But for those of you who are searching for gifts, we do have these fabulous gift boxes and we do have them available sold separately. So if you just want to buy the box, the box, it's a pop-up style box. I normally don't demonstrate it, but I'm happy to do so. So the bow is something that you can tie. This box fits obviously six, no problem, but you could fit, I think at least 12. 12 tees could go in here, maybe even more if they're thin. So it folds flat, it's flat. So it's a pop-up style box, so I can uh, pop it up. I can put all the tees in, and then once you tie your ribbon, you are good in gift mode. We have them separately, so if there is something that you wanted to buy that we don't already sell it as a gift set, we have a couple gift sets available on our website. They're just pre-done if you're looking for a tea drinker, but if you want to do something custom, we have this option too. So thank you. Sharon just said she has a little teapot at work and at home, and she loves it. Thank you, Miss Sharon. I appreciate that. Friends, I do want to talk about all 12 days of Christmas tea. We've got them here. I know I'm going so fast. Bear with me. I don't want anyone to get bored. 12 teas is kind of a lot. We've got six black tea and six caffeine-free. Let's talk about some black tea up first. Almond spritz cookie. Almond Spritz Cookie. This is a sweet tea, in my opinion. No sugar, no carbs, no calories, but it's definitely a sweet almond taste. But that's it. Um, I know some almond teas have spice to it. This doesn't. It is just a naturally sweet almond um, 
tea, which in my mind really reminds me of almond spritz cookies. So I do hope that you will give it a try if you haven't already. Next is our butterscotch. Butterscotch is a black tea and it is definitely, again, nice and sweet like the butterscotch candy. Vanessa just said best tea ever. I know Vanessa is a big fan of our almond spritz cookie, which makes me really happy because if I'm remembering, I think Vanessa is our resident baker or pastry chef, one of the two. So the fact that she likes one of my sweet teas makes me so happy. Thank you. Oh, Catherine says the almond spritz is a favorite as well. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Candy cane, friends, it wouldn't be Christmas without peppermint, right? I love this candy cane tea. Nice and sweet. It does have peppermint and tiny, tiny little flakes of actual candy cane. Our Christmas Tidings Tea, this is so perfect. This, I was blending this up just yesterday morning and I just can't get over it. To me, the memories just come flushing back. I don't know where I was. I'm thinking it's just holiday shopping. When you go into holiday shops, those kind of shops that have all that fabulous holiday decor, they always seem to have something going on in the background and I think it's the cloves that just gets my mind going. I absolutely love it. So Christmas Tidings Tea, a black tea. Um, definitely heavy on the cloves, but almost like a Christmas chai. Next, we have a caffeine-free tea. This is our Cran Apple Wassel. If you don't know what Wassel is, it is typically a mulled drink that has spices to it. So you're warming up the liquid with spices. So you could have mulled cider, you could have mulled wine, um, and this is just a fabulous cranberry apple mixture that has fabulous uh, mulling spices to it. So Wassel is completely caffeine free, definitely very good hot, good cold, and fabulous as a hot toddy. In our 12 Days of Christmas collection, we have eggnog, very traditional. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Friends, this is the most like traditional homemade from scratch eggnog. It does not, in my opinion, resemble the carton stuff you get from the grocery store. This is like fresh eggnog with nutmeg. So if you are a person who likes nutmeg, you're going to love this tea. It is seasonal and limited edition. Next, this is a new uh, one that came out last year and everybody loved it so much. Of course, I brought it back. Pumpkin Pecan Praline. This is me and my taste buds going crazy. I just wanted more, more, more. I added all these ingredients. I do think you're gonna love it. So it does have some hints of pumpkin spice. It also has some hints of like a pecan pie to it. Um, it's completely caffeine free. It is indulgent and fabulous. It is nice and smooth, which I'm very proud of. It doesn't have a weird bite to it. Definitely good hot. I love it as a latte. Oh yes, Kim said, I like to add a little whipped cream on top. It is, right? It is just so perfect like that. We have our Nutcracker Sweets. Nutcracker Sweets. This is a rooibos based tea and it is nice and sweet. It's got hazelnut and chestnut and caramel. So it doesn't have a really good nutty taste, but it's smooth and sweet too, which is exactly what the holidays is all about. We couldn't have Nutcracker Sweets without Sugar Plum Fairy, am I right? Sugar Plum Fairy is back again in our 12 Days of Christmas holiday collection. This is a black tea, so it does have plum and cinnamon. It does have caffeine. Um, this is also one of my favorites, cold. I know for some of you, the weather really hasn't changed yet. We're thinking Christmas right now, but it's not snowing where you are, and you're going to drink some of these teas cold. This is one of my favorites. Tea leaves right in cold water in the fridge. You'll have iced tea in 10 minutes. It is a great tea. You can steep it over and over again. Also, we've got two more in our 12 days of Christmas. Who's counting? White chocolate peppermint. 
white chocolate peppermint. This one we introduced last year and boy did it fly off the shelves. I think you guys really liked it. Oh my gosh, I couldn't keep it available. It was so great. It is limited edition for the holidays here. White chocolate peppermint. Normally I do not copy anyone else's recipe. I just go with you know, my gut, my personal experiences with desserts, cocktails, my life experiences. This one was pretty close to something that a major manufacturer had made, but then stopped making. So everyone, my audience asked me for it, but I couldn't do it because they did it with sugar. And I just refuse to use those ingredients. So ours is sugar free. Yes, it's got fabulous chocolate and peppermint. It's caffeine free. Obviously it's good hot, but yes, it's great as a, as a latte. So a latte is with steamed milk that you're going to steep your tea extra strong in one vessel. And you're going to steam your milk in a second vessel. When both are ready, you're going to marry the two. It really is that easy to make yourself a latte. It is not hard. This is one, everyone loved it last year. So of course I had to bring it back. White chocolate peppermint. This is also another good one to actually mix with our hot cocoa mixes because we have white chocolate. So it's pretty good. Next up, Yule Log. Yule Log, for those of you that don't know, Yule Log is kind of a funny term. Um, I grew up it being called Bush de Noel, so, which is French. Um, it is a chocolate cake that has a white cream filling and then you roll the cake like a jelly roll or a pumpkin roll. So that's why it's called a log because it looks like a log. Um, but typically, so it's a chocolate cake, but it's always garnished with cherries. And I had a craving for it, so of course I had to create this tea. It's definitely got dark chocolate, some undertones of mocha. It does have cherry in it, and it's got cream too. It's got all the things. You're gonna love this one too. Another good one, both hot, cold, and as a latte. Yule log. Oh yes, and Yuletide Toddy. Boy, we sell a lot of this one too. This is, I, I love how much you guys love these 12 flavors. It's hard to pick a favorite, isn't it? They're all so different. So Yuletide Toddy is caffeine free. Yes, I called it a toddy because it really is perfect. It's got cranberry, cherry, and cinnamon. For us, when we make a toddy, if we're like out shoveling snow or we're out late at night and we come in and we just want a little nip of something, I do like it with spice. I'm not going to lie. I mean, sometimes we'll do just pomegranate apple with um, maybe some bourbon, but the Yuletide toddy, it's the way to go. I love the depth of flavor. It's got just that pinch of cinnamon in the background, nice and smooth. Another one, Yuletide toddy is really good cold too. Think about it, cranberry and cherry. It's pretty obviously good as a cold tea. So you can have them anytime you want. It's completely caffeine free. Yuletide Toddy is back again. Those of you who are new, I want to say welcome and thank you. I know a lot of you joined the video late, so you didn't hear me actually say thank you for coming. Welcome to everyone. I really appreciate you watching. Everything that I talked about today, friends, is available on our website at subrosatea.com. I created a web page called Holiday Headquarters. So you can find everything I talked about all on the one web page. If you're watching on Facebook, I think I included a link in the description. That's kind of the tech stuff that happens in the background. So I hope that that is actually working for you. I hope so. And I do hope that you'll try our new tea too. Our cookies, our Christmas cookies and cocoa collection is available now. We will hopefully have it for quite some time. So I appreciate the interest and I appreciate you watching me live, but that is absolutely everything. I am going to, I really am done. I'm done talking about everything, but I am going to take my time, go back up through the comments to make sure I didn't miss anything. If you've got a question, don't hesitate to ask. I'll scroll back down through all the comments and try to get to your comments live. Again, if you're watching it on the replay, don't worry. I will get to you as soon as I am alerted that I've got a comment. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching. I guess I should sign off, so only stick around if you've got a question, okay? So, no matter what you do with the rest of your day, I hope you have yourself a cup of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.
Okay, so I see, doesn't look like Denise is watching live. So, oh yes, if you join late, um, we had a contest in our Facebook group. Um, we're giving away our Halloween tea bundle, which is six teas, a $22 value. Guess how many candy corns were in the tea tumbler? Denise Fletcher Spaulding um, guessed correctly at 154 candy corn in the tumbler. So Denise, if you're watching, make sure you comment. Actually, don't comment. Um, message us through Facebook or Instagram, however you're watching. Me uh, private message us because we have to get your address, of course, so we can send you the tea that you won. Okay, I don't see any questions yet. I'm s lots of comments though, thanks guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jean's excited the Yule Logs back. Thanks friends. Linda said, will you be at any craft shows? Linda, I'm so sorry, I cannot remember off the top of my head where you're from. We were just at one this past weekend. We have one more coming up in November. It's the weekend before Thanksgiving, so I think it's the teens of some sort. Um, and it's the IX Center. So if you're near Cleveland, Ohio, the Cleveland uh, IX Center, I think everyone knows that term, um, that's got a really big show called The Christmas Connection. We will be there. And Linda, again, if you're from Ohio and you're going to be attending that Christmas show, you can always place your order online and we'll make sure that you can pick up your order at the show so you don't pay shipping. Do you see what I'm saying? But we don't bring everything that we sell to a show because we just get a 10 by 10 booth. You understand there's only so much that can fit in the booth, only so much that can fit in the car. We sell just like 400 items, I think, on our website. So you let us know and we'll definitely save you the shipping if you're going to go. But just one more. Oh yes, those of you who are still here, I love it that you're still watching. Thank you for that. I did want to say that I think I'm going to start, I love talking to you guys, but I, I'm not sure how if, um, like when people are new, I don't know when people are new if they appreciate me chit-chatting in the beginning of a video. So I thought that maybe I would just, um, you know, take a few minutes at the very end of the videos. If you guys want to hang out and chat, I'd love to know what you're drinking. I'd love to know what you're trying. I'd love to know if you have any questions about the flavors that you bought from us. You know, that I would just hang out at the end of the video and chat with you guys for a little bit. So we, I... I'm trying to live my life by the philosophy of if you know better, you should do better. So I was just informed of the fact that Facebook has a no gambling policy, which me asking um, you to watch the videos in order to be eligible to win a prize is considered gambling, which I'll be honest, it didn't even occur to me. I always think of gambling as like, oh, you're at the racetrack or you're buying ticket, like lottery tickets. It didn't occur to me that I was gambling or I was asking you to gamble. But now that I know that Facebook has this policy, I'm certainly not a rule breaker, okay? And now that I know I'm not, I'm gonna do better. So now I cannot um, offer to, uh, my viewers a chance to win the combo pack. Uh, so that makes me sad, but it's life. So anyway, um, that's why I wanna say thank you to everyone who pointed out that we got 100 because it makes me really happy. We haven't had 100 live viewers in a while, but that's why I didn't pick a winner for that. And I really shouldn't be picking a winner for candy corn either, but we already were running that contest prior to my information. Like I said, no better, do better, right? Now that I know, I'm going to do better. So since we had said that I was going to give something away, hopefully Facebook will not ding me and um, Denise Fletcher Spalding will contact me. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, good. Kim, Kim, thank you for taking care of that for me. I so appreciate it. You know, in my opinion, a Facebook group is a place like for a community, like we can talk about stuff. I hope that we can talk about stuff and I hope that people do, but nobody ever really posts in my group and we have like 8,500 people in that group and it says we're going to like have limited edition flavors, which we do all the time. And 
that's just where it goes. So I don't know if I should maintain the group or, or not worry about it. I don't really know. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep up. You know, it's just amazing. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tiffany says, oh, she sees so many other people doing the same thing. Well, you know, just because a lot of people are doing something doesn't mean I'm going to do it too, but it is what it is. So anyway, oh yes, anybody, um, I really got to know, for those of you who are watching live, I am dying to know, did, did this, is this seem strange to you that I am dressed like Mrs. Claus on October 30th? I know that uh, like the big box stores seem to be pushing the month of October now is Black Friday. Like there's all the holiday stuff is out and all the sales are going on. And I love Halloween. So I still want to be Halloween until October 31st. But I felt like everyone else was like almost pressuring me to introduce my holiday collection now. Um, and then I feel like if I introduced it le next Sunday on November, what is it, 7th? And it'd be too late. So I really got to know, for those of you watching live, what do you think? Is it still Halloween in your universe? Like, are you still going to dress up your kids tomorrow and do trick-or-treat on Monday night? Is it over? Did you already put away all your Halloween stuff? I don't really know. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I am kind of dying to hear. If this is just too early, if I pushed it, if I shouldn't have, I am very curious to know your opinion on that. If this holiday stuff, if it's just um, too early or if it feels good. You know, I feel like um, Christmas is a happy time for so many people and I love red, I love green, I love talking about Christmas flavors, so, you know. Okay, Amy says she didn't know I had a group. Thank you for that. Oh yeah, Jennifer, if you're still here, I think Jennifer had just joined the group and she said I didn't have an email and I send one email a week uh, for the past 10 years. So that really breaks my heart that my um, some of my customers who've been so supportive of me don't even know that I'm doing this because their email service is sending my emails to spam or, you know, whatever the case may be. Ooh, I see some people on Instagram. So thank you. That's always nice that that is connected. Melissa says it's still Halloween at her house. Amy dresses up her dog. Well, Amy, tell us, what's your dog going to be dressed up like? We have a post going again in the group that we asked what everyone is dressing up like for Halloween, and I don't think anybody answered. Doesn't anyone do that anymore? <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Vanessa says, not at all. You're talking about Christmas, so it makes sense. Christmas starts Tuesday at my work. Yeah, I know. We kind of have to do it, right? I don't like the push of Christmas early. Not you, but commercial. I know, right? Um, we've... <laughs> Amy, I gotta see a picture of that. Amy says she's gonna dress her dog as a chicken. Well, that's hysterical. I definitely want to see that. Um... Yes, I know, like we have our Christmas in July special, which is July 21st, a uh, 25th, of course, and we um, introduce just a few. We bring back a few of our holiday flavors and you guys buy them every year. Like I've been doing this for years and years. People buy my holiday, my Christmas holiday flavors on July 25th. So I'm kind of thinking that people are ready or people want them or I don't know what. So anyway. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be a cowboy. Love it. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Oh, you're on the app. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta make sure that everyone knows new flavors and returning. If there is, you know what? I was also, I'm also very curious to know for those of you watching that you're still here, I'm really curious to know if there's a tea flavor or a tea ingredient that I don't use that you, you're you still looking for, you're still out there searching for. The other day I met someone new and we were talking about our jobs and I told her I, I make tea and I sell tea and she's like, do you sell that mushroom tea? And I was like, no, I don't use mushrooms. And I looked it up and it's a thing. I don't know if it's popular, but like I said, most of my all my blends come from my heart, come from my personal experience. 
I like mushrooms on other things. I don't really ever crave them in my teacup. It wouldn't occur to me to put them in my teacup. But then I thought, well, gosh, there might be other weird, in not weird, other ingredients that I do not use or have not. So, you know, kind of curious um, what your thoughts are on that. If there's anything um, unusual that you're searching out, you know, there's like a urban urban, I wouldn't say it's a legend, I wouldn't say it's a myth, it's just something going around. I've been asked a couple times now um, for pine needle tea, pine needles. And I'm like, okay, I live in Ohio, like we have evergreen trees here, okay? I think I know what a pine tree is. And I'm thinking in my head, why? <laughs> why? I, I know what the taste, the, the smell of pine is, and it would not occur to me to put it into my cup and steep it. Clearly, it did for somebody, right? It, it did for somebody. And I just thought, gosh, I wonder if, uh, you know, if that's what my audience is expecting out of me. And I could try it. I haven't tried it, but I could try it. And it's just, you know, when I get two different people who don't know each other, asking me for something that's never occurred to me, you know, I just get like, I don't want to be missing the boat, right? Like I'm missing the boat on the, the giveaway thing. I didn't know. But anyway, Melissa says there's an ingredient that you don't use. I, I do try to pride myself in variety, especially when I'm doing the bundles, like unless it's a chocolate bundle, I want to make sure that I don't repeat um, flavor profiles in a bundle to make sure that everyone is really interested in the theme or the bundle and that there's just a wide variety because some days I wake up and I want hot cinnamon, but other days I wake up and I want peppermint. And those things are not the same to me. Like those cravings are just so, so different. Anyway, okay, Vanessa says that her husband loves the mushroom teas and he swears by it after he fractured his spine. Well, I might have to do some research, but I haven't had one. So I don't know how I'm going to create one because I've never had one. <laughs> anyway, okay, and Amy's heard of the white pine needle tea. Well, that's good to know. Clearly other people have had it, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Why? And is there something else out there, right? Is there something else? Is there something better? Is there something that does the same thing? And people are being swayed to think that it, um, I don't know helps with something in particular. And my brand is very um, gourmet flavors. I like great taste. <laughs> and so that's how it is. Oh yes, hi Amy. Hi. Amy, I think is, I could be wrong, but I think Amy is one of like our original winners, like back in the day, like years and years ago when I started doing social media, I uh, gave something away if I'm not, re if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So welcome back. Welcome back. Long time no see. Glad you're here. Glad you downloaded the app. It's fun. Isn't it fun to shop by video? I think it's it's novel. I think it's very interesting to be able to see and put things in your cart and swipe. I love tapping and swiping. Oh, I just think that's great. So anyway, me and my memory. Okay, I've chatted with you long enough. I want to wish you all well. Thank you for your support of my company. I really, really appreciate it. And I am going to get busy because I hear that I've had some orders. So um, thank you, friends. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a fabulous evening and I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye, friends.